Today we'll take a look at updating your eye charger. It's a simple process that only takes a few minutes. All that's required is your eye charger unit itself, the included USB cable, and a power supply or battery source to power the charger from during the update. Taking a look at your charger, you'll see that the mini USB port is located on the side of the unit. If you have a different model, it might be on the other side. Powering on the charger, you'll notice that the firmware version currently installed is briefly displayed in the upper left hand corner. We've put an old version 3.13 on this unit purely for display purposes, and any chargers you receive from us will come updated when you receive them. The included USB cable is a little different in that the ground shield has been removed from pin 4 to prevent a common ground issue. You'll want to use the included USB cable, and you can go ahead and connect it here on the side of the charger. If you don't have the included USB cable, to prevent this grounding issue, it's recommended to either use a battery source to power the charger from during the update, or to power the or to connect it to a laptop that's powered from battery, not connected through AC power during the update. Continuing with the iCharger update, you'll want to go to your Windows-based computer. Software is not currently available for a Mac. Once there, you'll want to open up an internet browser and go to our website, progressiverc.com. At this point, you can also go ahead and get your charger powered on. Looking under Resources, Manuals, and Updates at the bottom of the page, you'll see a section for iCharger updates. This section is also available on the individual product page for the charger you purchased on the button Updates. The first thing to do is to see if a new version is available. Here we see the latest version, release 3.14, which we'll update to. The revision history is just below, and will tell you the updates made on this latest revision. To actually perform the update, you'll want to download two files. The first is the iCharger USB driver, which you will simply click on and save. This file allows your charger to communicate with the computer. Go ahead and open the folder where this file has been saved. The other file, which we'll also go ahead and download, is the iCharger Upgrader program, which you can click on and save as well. Once you've done this, you can close our website. We don't need anything else further from there. The driver files are contained in a zip folder, which we need to extract. I'm going to open that up and take the files which are inside out and remove them from the zip file they're contained in. Once you've done that, you need to run the USB driver program, which is contained in the USB driver folder, and it's called GenC USB Installer. Double click on the file to run it and select Yes to allow it to install. We've already installed here, so it'll give us a message that they've already been installed. Yours will continue and then complete. Once that's done, you can actually delete the driver files here because they've been installed on your computer. The other program is the upgrader software itself. Prior to running this, we'll go ahead and connect the USB between the charger and the computer, at which point you'll hear a noise from your computer indicating a new hardware device has been connected and it will get the software and drivers installed. You'll want to give this a few seconds to complete the installation and then go ahead and select the upgrader program. Running this program, you'll see a box at the top that says include COM export. Go ahead and click on that box. Once you've done so, you'll see the UR bridge, which is the USB driver installation here under the COM port 5. This number may be different, but essentially you'll want to select the Silicon Labs driver here, and that is the Gen C device. If you've downloaded the update file specifically for your device from your website, you can open it here. Otherwise, we'll go through and download it through the software itself, which is often easier. Clicking on download, you'll see a list of devices. We're updating the iCharger 3010B, so we'll select the 3010B under device type. It also tells us the latest file name and version is 3.14. Once you've selected that, you can simply click download, and it will quickly, it will quickly download that driver. Once that's done, all that's required is to hit the update button. It will make sure it's got a connection through to your charger and perform the upgrade, which only takes about 15 seconds to send to your device. Once this is complete, the charger will automatically reboot and display the new firmware in the upper left-hand corner. 
you can simply click on the OK button and close the software out. Thanks for tuning in to Progressive RC's iCharger update video. I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any trouble, please let us know. We'll be happy to help.